Hi guys, this is Nia and today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. I'm going to be unboxing a snack box from Sakura Co. They've kindly sent me this box for free so I'm here to review them. This is not a paid sponsor but I just couldn't resist. I've always loved Japanese culture, especially their food, so I'm really stoked to try this. Sukuroko is a monthly subscription snack box with a collection of 20 authentic Japanese traditional snacks made by local artisanal makers in Japan and it is shipped worldwide. It is specially curated in the theme of the month so you always get something different all year round. Each box comes with a booklet which explains every single snack and it also includes common allergens in the ingredients so I'll go through them along the way as I'm trying these snacks. The box is ordered in the preceding month, so as an example, I ordered my box early this month and this is the August box. For the August box, they're focused on mostly Okinawan snacks for the summer season, so there's going to be a lot of citrus, brown sugar, and purple sweet potato or Benny Imo flavored snacks. I've always wanted to go to Okinawa but I've never been, so I'm so excited to get a little taste of their flavors. Every month, Sakura Co. gives away 10 boxes for free, so if you're interested in trying that out or to subscribe to their snack boxes, you can go to the link in my description box. Today, I'm just going to give you my honest review of these snacks. I'm a huge foodie, I love food and I can eat just about anything, which is why I also love to paint food subjects. But as you guys know, I'm battling a health condition and I do have to be a bit careful about what I eat now. But I'm making an exception today because I just can't say no to Japanese snacks. For those of you who might be concerned about my health, I just want to mention that I think this is fairly safe for me to eat. I'm not allergic to these ingredients, but I do have a slight intolerance to wheat and gluten, so I can take them in small amounts, and none of my actual allergens are in these snacks, so I think it's fine. In terms of the sugar though, I try to not eat too much because it does cause inflammation, and I'm just usually extra careful, but as I said, I'm making an exception today, so I'll just be taking small nibbles of the sweet snacks and sharing the rest so nothing goes to waste. I won't actually talk through this whole video, but I'll just write down my thoughts along the way. Mind you, I will mention that a lot of these snacks are very sweet, but this is because my palate has changed. I was always more of a savory person than sweet, but now on top of that, I mostly only eat natural sugars or sometimes sweeteners in very small doses, so what's too sweet for me is most probably a good level of sweetness for an average palate, so just keep that in mind if I say something is very sweet. For some of the crunchy snacks, I will make it sort of like an ASMR, so if you find eating sounds kind of gross, please turn off the sound and just put your own background music, and let's get into these snacks. Thank you. 
Thank you. 